You know how uh, Republicans are ideologically aligned with, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Satan themselves, uh, Adolf Hitler, you know, uh, bad people. Um, what's something bad people like doing? They like book burnings. I actually can't believe my eyes. As a product of the extremely broad and deliberately vague laws that have been passed by the DeSantis administration in Florida, schools are clearing out all of their books. Not some of their books, all of their books. The rules on what is or is not woke, that's, that's actually what we're talking about here, are so vague that to avoid potential felony charges, they're taking all the books off the shelves until they can be specifically and independently verified. Empty bookshelves at a local middle school. Parents tell News for Jacks that teachers and librarians at their kids' schools were told to pack up the books for review. So it actually blew my mind. So that we, literally pack up all of your books they will be they need to be reviewed to make sure they're compliant with state censor, censorship guidelines it is with this is fully and without exaggeration in line with the uh the behavior of totalitarian regimes of nazi germany or of uh like stalinist russia that's actually like what we're trending to right now um like you you can be prosecuted on felony charges unless you, you submit entirely to, to like state review here. That we were living in a world where we were removing books from classrooms. This week, schools statewide have been complying with state law requiring the approval of books in classroom libraries. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live from the Duval County School Board headquarters. Marilyn, is that video part of schools complying with the state law? Yes, and News for Jack's viewers have been reaching out to us about it all week. DCPS says that they are conducting formal reviews of classroom libraries. They made the announcement on Monday, but it came as a shock to lots of parents and students. They want to know when these books will be returned or replaced. The Independent here has kind of a rundown of the, uh, the extent to which this is taking place, and it's gotten quite bad here. There's a new controversial Florida law. And I believe I've talked about on stream, uh, but you know, with how fast they're coming out these days, God only knows. Oh no, this is the new one. This is from last year one. Okay, the new one's further down. In March last year, that punishes teachers with felony charges if non-sanctioned books are presented in classrooms. So now, teachers, I mean, we're talking $32,000 a year, honest to goodness, teachers, bedrock of our society, light of our lives, hope for the future, teachers can have felony charges slapped on them if non-state sanctioned books are present in classrooms. The curriculum transparency law requires school book selections to be free of pornography and prohibited materials harmful to minors. Sounds fine, uh, until you remember that to Republicans, pornography is equivalent to the display of anything queer related and prohibited materials harmful to minors. I mean, go, go, go ask the most fanatically religious Protestant you've ever met on what materials are prohibited and harmful to minors and you know write those down and see what passes that guideline you know before this you had the parental rights and education law you know, the don't say don't say gay law the stop woke law the combined effect of all of these laws is essentially a kind of legal ambiguity where what is or is not tolerated is so poorly defined that whether or not you get in trouble with the state again felony charges that'll ruin your life it's it you're you're talking a massive risk on very 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 vague guidelines i mean imagine imagine if you had a bunch of like republicans or or theocrats running around town and the rule was that if they found any book in your house that was disrespectful to christianity you could be put in prison for 6 years what would you do now, my guess is that the majority of you would just get rid of all your books because that's what I would f do. You have no goddamn idea what they're going to consider disrespectful to Christianity. Absolutely none. 
art books? I've got a Dark Souls 3 art book right down there. See, my finger's pointing directly at it. The imagery of Dark Souls 3, like, pulls back on a number of religious inspirations. I have no, I genuinely don't know. You want to take that risk? Six years in prison? Your entire life? You would get rid of every book. That's the only smart thing to do. And that's exactly what they've been doing. Thousands of schools all across the state. Millions of children right now are attending classes and schools with empty libraries. During the middle of Literacy Week at Mandarin Middle School, all the books in the library were gone. How do we live in a world where books are being banned from the classroom? Brian Covey says his kids attend Greenland Pines, and the books there were also taken this week. They said that before school, all the teachers had to pack up their stuff. The librarian apparently tearfully announced that she no longer had a resource class to do, and she had to review all the books in the school. A teacher in Manatee County this week covered up the books in his classroom and put up a sign that reads, closed by order of the governor. Florida state law says teachers must cross How? Keep in mind, DeSantis is the presidential front runner for the GOP in 2024. That's next year. How can anyone look at this and think, ah, yes, the Republicans, they don't have anything worse in mind for us. Like, yeah, it stops right here reference their libraries with a list of pre-approved books. A trained media specialist will vet any books that are not on the list. The law requires books to be free from pornography, instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in kindergarten through third grade, and discrimination in a way that an individual by virtue of his or her race, color, sex, or national origin is inherently racist or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously. So the explicit guidelines here, the ones that Republicans are dishonestly fronting as like the good idea, is you can't have these books if they actively promote discrimination, instruct sexual orientation or gender identity, or have pornography. However, obviously, all of these are incredibly vague. And the reason for that is because their actual interest is maintaining a kind of strategic ambiguity where in the future, you will have books that instruct plenty on heterosexuality that don't get you arrested, but if they're gay, you will get arrested. This is very much like the, again, this is like the legal structure of the Soviet Union in a lot of ways. The Soviet Union was notoriously legalistic. They kept paperwork on everything. They had an incredibly active, and I say thriving here, not necessarily in a good way, uh, uh, let's say engaged uh, criminal justice system where there were so many laws and what you could and couldn't do, could or couldn't say, that, to be honest, if you lived in the Soviet Union, you had broken one of those laws. Probably multiple. You can't live without having broken those laws. It's just an inevitable part of life. They're naturally unavoidable. They're contradictory. They're mutually exclusive sometimes, but it doesn't matter. And that doesn't matter. Unless the state decides you're an issue. Maybe you do something that isn't explicitly illegal in the Soviet Union. Maybe you work uh, for the Politburo and you say a couple of off-color remarks. There are a few jokes you make that don't technically flag any laws, but make you look a little bit suspicious. Maybe you're just a lazy worker. And all of a sudden, all of the little things you've done that everyone has done that are illegal technically matter. And the state gets you on those. It's kind of like the whole they got Capone on tax evasion thing, except if the system was set up in such a way that literally everyone automatically did tax evasion unavoidably, and they would just come after you for that if they couldn't get you on the main crime they wanted to get you for. Does that make any sense? A lot of people make jokes about how these laws would like ban a bunch of stuff. Ah, oh, it would ban teachers showing off their wedding rings to their heterosexual partners or like... It would ban like talking about childbirth at all because that would involve talking about heterosexual sexual orientation. No, it won't. They will simply not apply the rules in those cases. We are not headed towards a society in which everything is banned because the law says so. We're headed towards a society in which the law says everything is banned, but those who enforce the law do so discriminatorily against the groups they don't like. This is, to an extent, also how Nazi Germany functioned, though less so because they were not as legalistic. It's good and well to point out the hypocrisy, but keep in mind that in their mind there is no hypocrisy. They know they're lying, 
They're aware of the fact that they're dishonestly fronting these positions as a way of selectively enforcing them, and they don't care. Just like sunset laws and Jim Crow laws. Yep, they've done this all the time. There are so many laws that were used to enforce discrimination, if you go back far enough, that technically, broadly prohibited like a lot of stuff, you know? I don't know a single teacher who would come across an inappropriate book in their classroom and wouldn't remove it. Educators who violate this law could face a third degree felony. Duval County Schools announced Monday they're taking further steps to comply with state laws. Covey says he can't blame the school district but thinks it's punishing students. It's hurting their education. Uh, I have a feeling it's a lot to do with no the same posting. as African American studies and in, in trying to control what kids can and cannot learn. DCPS says the district will soon provide school staff with more specific guidance on the review process. Kobe says that a book fair was happening at his kid's school while those books in the library were being removed. DCPS says... Why are they complying? Because they could be arrested if they don't and be hit with a third degree felony, didn't you hear? Once a book is deemed appropriate, it's going to be added to a public database that the community and parents will have access to. That's where they can see each book that will be available to their kids. So in more literal terms, they are actually unironically creating a whole ministry of truth. This is the approved book list. Like, like this is sincerely a template model of the highest level of authoritarianism present here. Full on, you will be arrested if the materials that you have in your possession do not comply with our limited state registry. And they'll say the Democrats are the authoritarian ones because we like couldn't go out to bars for three months in 2020. Is a felony charge for distributing banned books unconstitutional? Well, it would be a felony charge for displaying them in schools at this point. When do we get to Fed Post? Never. As for whether or not any of this is unconstitutional, the God's honest truth is that the Constitution is also incredibly vague and up to interpretation. And you'll never guess who the current interpreters are by a six to three margin.